sentence is because sometimes you can watch a Bond film and go, what on earth is going on? Well, case in and point, <laughs> Ranveer, because Ranveer? of course she's admitted to not seeing... <laughs> Look, well, he, 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 you know, he's... Good morning. Just gone half past six. Welcome to the programme. Uh, it got nasty on some petrol forecourts uh, yesterday. Um, the story on the front of the eye this morning, petrol Prime minister has told us all to keep calm and carry on, um, but pictures from South London from yesterday Goodness. and kicking and people driving with others on uh, their, bonnet. their bonnets. And then, um, and, also, uh, and now we know that um, the Prime Minister is trying to save Christmas as well. It's, it's a battle to save Christmas, but he's working on the necessary preparations. Let's have a look. I would just... Uh, well, let's cross over to um, Kevin Obviously. Maguire and Andrew Pearce. What is going on in our... Did we, did we didn't say thank you to Mike Parr, did we? Thanks to Mike Parr. Oh, Mike. Mike. <laughs> and uh, he's got some logistics to sort out. Plenty more still to come. You're watching Good Morning Britain on ITV. See you in a moment. Competition time now. Your chance to get your hands on not one, but two prices. And Andy has the details. That. Morning, Brendan. It's just gone seven o'clock. You're right. I was laughing at something. Sorry. Do you want to share it with the group, Alistair? I uh, don't think I can, really, because <laughs> it's going on in my ear. And it was deep, um, deeply inappropriate. Uh, we've had a number of people <laughs> deeply inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> yes, perhaps keep that in your ear. Um, we've had a number of uh, people getting in touch about the HGV driver shortage and the reasons for it, because we've been discussing whether this is largely down to Brexit. Um, of course, there is also a hold up because of COVID and a number of people pointing out, Jackie, for instance, the main reason there is a shortage is that the DVLA don't do or didn't do tests for 10 or 11 months. Gracie says, my husband has been waiting over six months to do his theory test to become a lorry HGV driver. So they can't be that desperate, she points out. Um, and Jackie, husband can't do his job due to a three month backlog, cannot even get through to the government website. Um, so do keep getting in touch, finger out uh, particularly time. if uh, you have experience. Boris Johnson has admitted Britain's supply chain problems could last until Christmas, but he insisted the situation at the petrol pumps was starting to improve and has urged drivers to stop their panic buying. Reports suggest 150 military tanker drivers will be ready to help deliver fuel across the country by the end of the week. And this year, Arjun... OK, well, as the pandemic continues, so too the questions of COVID-19's origins within the World Health Organization set to restart its investigation into the outbreak. Yes, in a new book and documentary, What Really Happened in Wuhan, journalist and author Shari Markson investigates the potential leak of the virus from the top secret laboratory in China. We're going to speak to her in just a moment. First, here's Shari questioning former US President Donald Trump on what evidence he was presented with. What? It's a tricky one, isn't it? It is tricky. Course, you know, lots of people dismissed that theory early on because it was President Trump. Well, that's a big point. That's it. a big point that she makes in the book. In the book, and and to be honest, I felt that going through it. Every time Trump spoke, I thought, well, I don't want to believe that guy, and I don't believe that guy. And then she sort of produces things. And it's it's, it's it is an interesting read. It, it kind of made me rethink a few things that I'd. But we don't know. Now. And we need to. Still ahead on Good Morning Britain, Sir Keir Starmer will promise to get... Now let's get the news, travel and weather where you are. See you in a moment. Labour leader Keir Starmer aimed to address big issues in his first keynote speech to the Labour conference, including plans to recruit thousands of teachers and new targets for mental health. But after a conference marred by divisions over party rule changes and the resignation of the left-winger Andy Macdonald from the shadow cabinet, is Labour back in business and ready for power? We're joined now. It is competition time, your chance to win a huge lump of cash and also have your mortgage or rent paid for two years. Here's Andy. Cheers. Court, Jamie Spears has denied acting in anything but his daughter's best interest, it says here, and has declined demands that he resign immediately, though he said in court documents that he does have a plan eventually to step down. His filing also said he has dutifully and faithfully served as the conservator of his daughter's estate without any blemishes on his record. Um, breaking news for you this morning, Junction 3 of the M25 protesters are blocking the roundabout at the Swanley Interchange. Uh, Kent Police have... Swanley, Swanley was key in our fuel protests back 20 years ago. Uh, oh, yeah, One back of the big refineries. Mm. 
Yeah. Um, yeah, as if drivers needed anything else. Um, still ahead on Good Morning Britain, he's had incredible highs and lows.